today on the farm my commercial pea sheller is on its way back from the manufacturer we're getting ready to put it back in the building and shell some peas if you watch my last video you know that this will be our final pea season we will still grow butter beans and green beans going forward but this is the final pea season for mp produce i'm looking forward to getting that sheller back in here we got peas in the field everywhere and uh we're looking forward to seeing if we can make this sheller work and get these peas shelled out all right we got the machine back we got it rolled into place let's go to the field and pick some peas and do a few math problems the oxbow cannot pick these peas efficiently because the vines are too vigorous i have beautiful peas right here on top beautiful peas easy to pick by hand no problem pick these peas by hand that oxbow though when it comes to hitting all this stuff there's too much vine in here these plants are too vigorous and so all this vine gets wrapped up on the machine head and it gets beat around and knocked around and most of that winds up in the bag I don't need a bunch of bags of this because you put this in the sheller and then a lot of that winds up wrapping around the shelling fingers in the sheller and all these peas get beat to crap, turn into baby food, and they're no good. So these vigorous vines out here have made it where the oxbow is not usable in this portion of the field. Peas, super easy to pick by hand right here. Easy to do. Can't do it with a machine hand pick only if you saw my previous video and was hearing some of my woes i'm sorry to put my troubles on y'all but that was one of the issues i discussed that is a machine machine pick variety it just didn't grow the way it normally grows it grew a lot more plant that's not normal but it happened so that is a technically a machine pick variety but it can't be machine picked this is another machine pick variety it also grew too much plants i can't harvest these vines with that picker that piece are a little bit smaller these are a little bit harder to shell these are the ones everybody wants these real tiny sedandies that's the ones that all the customers want in here and we got a pile of sedandies they're loaded out here this is the same exact variety that won't machine pick on the other side of the dirt road this is elite southern pea this pea was planted the same day as those under the same conditions the vine is completely and entirely different it could not be more different same seed same day same conditions only thing i can figure last year i had green beans right here and last year we had pearl millet right there we took soil samples this year on both parts and put out what was recommended for fertilizer but those vines out there in the middle up around my stomach these vines at their best around my knee same day same conditions i can machine pick these peas one issue i'm going to run into machine picking these peas is look here i got an immature i got an immature I got two more right there, two more there, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 36, 38, 40 42 44 46 okay i picked 46 immatures off that plant um here's the matures they look great uh there's three six seven eight nine there's another immature there's another one there's nine matures on that plant i just picked off 40 immatures 40 plus immatures so if you wait for those immatures to mature 
these will be dry and these dry peas they're gonna be mixed in with those other peas and then you can't sell any of them you can't sell them mixed in they have to be separated you there's, you, there's not enough time there's not a way to separate those dry peas out they're unmarketable if the dry peas are mixed in and the amount of time it would take to pick them out by hand is more in money than what the peas are worth so you can't pick it out so I will machine pick these I will get these nine pods and I will lose those 40 something immatures but nine pods is better than zero pods so we will machine pick you see there are a lot of blooms out here that is more pods trying to make the optimal situation is to get some hand labor out here and I would love to get some hand labor out here I tell you I would love it let me tell you what hand labor pays the going rate is ten dollars a bushel a bushel is two five gallon buckets slam full a person can easily pick i know this from personal experience a person can easily pick 20 bushels in one day taking breaks drinking water go sit in the shade go to town get your sandwich come back you can work few hours in the morning a few hours late in the evening go home in the middle of the day when it's hot you can still pick 20 bushels a day easily easily i'll come out here after seven o'clock in the evening and pick six bushels before it gets dark by myself you can easily pick 20 in a day at ten dollars a bushel 20 bushels a day on your own schedule come and go as you please pick as many as you want as few as you want whatever day you want whatever time you want you can easily make two hundred dollars a day 20 bushels ten dollars two hundred dollars a day five days a week that's a thousand dollars but wait we pick peas seven days a week you can easily make fourteen hundred dollars a week no problem no problem $1,400 a week right here picking peas easy money I have offered this same job this same money to h2a workers migratory workers pea pickers professional pea pickers I'm paying $10 a bushel I've offered free housing free utilities so they will have no bills I will provide the house the air condition the lights the water the cable tv everything's paid for plus fourteen hundred dollars a week zero takers because nobody wants to work i have talked to the other pea farms in the area i talked to a farmer two counties east of me on sunday he can't find anybody to pick his peas I talked to a farmer two counties south of me yesterday. I went to visit him and see if my machine would pick his peas. His peas are drying up. Nobody's picking them. Can't find nobody to pick them. The farmer to the east of me said he had visited five farms. Nobody was picking their peas. Looks like to me, some of y'all fish and go hungry. The politicians we have put in place now, I'm not knocking one party or the other. I don't trust no politicians. The ones that are in place currently from both parties, one party, whatever you want to make up, the ones that are in power now have decided to pay people enough money not to work and give them enough free food that they don't have to go out and get a job that they have all decided not to work. Local labor, not working. So H-2A labor, migratory labor, has took better jobs. They're not doing the jobs that h2a labor typically does they're getting higher paying jobs all this free money floating around out there means nobody's harps in the crop not just my crop this is nationwide the vegetables ain't coming in y'all so if you got a good job it don't really matter because if the vegetables don't come in there's not gonna be anything at the grocery store for you to buy and that's coming I, that ain't like global warming we talking about a city going underwater 200 years from now the ocean getting an inch deeper uh 75 years from now we ain't talking about that we're talking about in months a few months from now there's no food in the grocery store y'all some of y'all about to get hungry i ain't gonna be hungry i grow this stuff 
Me and my family ain't gonna be hungry. I'm killing cows, putting them in the freezer, putting pigs in the freezer. We got enough peas, potatoes, and green beans. We can wait this thing out for a while. I feel sorry for y'all that ain't farmers because uh, y'all about to get in a tight spot. I got a solution though. I can help some of y'all out. I'm paying $10 a bushel. Anybody want to pick peas? I also pay on halves. I have a few people. I have four people that come out here and pick on halves. That means they pick a bucket for them and a bucket for me. That offer is to anyone watching this video, as is the $10 a bushel. You want to pick on halves? I got all the peas you can pick, all the peas your mama and them can pick, and everybody you know can pick. I got more peas than all y'all can pick. 26 acres of peas in this field. They need picking right now. Come on out here and get them. I'll pay you $10 a bushel, or you can pick on halves, take half the peas home with you. That way you ain't worried about the grocery store. Peas need picking though. We ain't talking about coming in next month. These jokers need picking right now. Y'all come out here tomorrow. Come out here the day after that. You come out here the next two or three days. You wait a week and a half. These jokers gonna be dry and y'all gonna be hungry. But we're gonna move on, pick butter beans here by the end of the week and these peas will be dried up. But for now, I'm gonna show y'all what that oxbow will do on peas that are the proper height. We're gonna miss these immatures, but we're gonna get the matures. We're gonna get some peas to go in that continuous flow sheller so it show y'all how that thing works all right we're gonna go ahead and engage the pto that's gonna start the picker to spin it there she goes i'm gonna put him up in a so we got six ranges on this tractor we got four gears per range i got an a i'm gonna put it right here i'm gonna shift it forward i'm in one I'll speed up my RPMs a little bit. We're going to pick these peas real slow. I'd like to go about 0.9 miles an hour. Every now and then, depending on the uh, how thick the vines are, I may bump it up to 1.2, but typically I run about 0.9. As I speed my RPMs up, I will also be blowing more leaves and trash out. See it coming out of that yellow hood back there. this aspect right here the oxbow has done a great job at picking peas we had the vines we have no peas on them i have no peas on the ground barely any here's one barely any peas on the ground the vines are clean that looks fantastic it looks great i love it this is what's in the bag i got a few mature peas but i got about 80 percent immature peas i got weed seed i got flowers that's what we're putting in the bag that's not good you don't want that in the bag if i'm hand picking that's not in the bag hand picking is better 